Cygnus CRS 0A7, also known as Orbital ATK CRS 7, is the eighth flight of the Orbital ATK unmanned resupply spacecraft Cygnus and its seventh flight to the International Space Station under the Commercial Resupply Services contract with NASA. The mission launched on April 18, 2017, at 11.11 a.m. Orbital and NASA jointly developed a new space transportation system to provide commercial cargo resupply services to the International Space Station Under the Commercial Orbital Transportation Services program, then Orbital Sciences designed and built Antares, a medium-class launch vehicle, Cygnus, an advanced maneuvering spacecraft, and a pressurized cargo module which is provided by Orbital's industrial partner Thales Alenia Space. The OA-7 is named the SS John Glenn in honor of astronaut and Senator John Glenn, the first U.S. astronaut to orbit the Earth on Mercury Atlas 6 and the oldest to go to space on STS-95. History The COTS demonstration mission was successfully conducted in September 2013, and Orbital commenced operational ISS cargo missions under the Commercial Resupply Service program with two missions in 2014. The third operational mission, Orb CRS-3, was not successful due to an Antares failure during launch. The company decided to discontinue the Antares 100 series and accelerate the introduction of a new propulsion system. The Antares system was upgraded with newly built Road 181 first stage engines to provide greater payload performance and increased reliability. In the meantime, the company contracted with United Launch Alliance for two Atlas V launches from Cape Canaveral, Florida. CRS 0A4 flew in December 2015 and CRS 0A6 in March 2016. The first Cygnus mission on the new Antares 230 was delayed to October 2016 and performed successfully. This particular mission, known as OA-7, enabled Orbital ATK to cover their initial CRS contracted payload obligation. At NASA's request, OA-7 was switched from an Antares to an Atlas V rocket to increase the payload delivered to the ISS. Antares flights resumed with CRS 08E, the first of Orbital's extended contract with NASA in November 2017. Production and integration of Cygnus spacecraft is performed in Dulles, Virginia. The Cygnus service module is mated with the pressurized cargo module at the launch site, and mission operations are conducted from control centers in Dulles and Houston. OA-7 launched on the 18th of April 2017 at 1511 Coordinated Universal Time aboard an Atlas V-401 rocket. The freighter rendezvoused and was berthed to the ISS on the 22nd of April, where it remained for just under 43 days. NASA announced on 1 June its intention to unbirth Cygnus a month ahead of schedule. In preparation for unbirthing, Cygnus was grappled by Canadarm2 on 2 June. Early on 4 June, the bolts securing Cygnus to the station were retracted, and Canadarm2 unbirthed the spacecraft at 11.05 Coordinated Universal Time. Crew members aboard the station maneuvered Cygnus to its release attitude, and at 13.10 Coordinated Universal Time the vehicle was released from Canadarm2. One minute later, Cygnus began carrying out a series of departure burns to move it away from the ISS. At approximately 2000 Coordinated Universal Time, the Sapphire 3 experiment on board Cygnus was commanded to execute. This experiment involves the controlled ignition of spacecraft material samples to test how they burn in microgravity. On 8 June, four Lima 2 CubeSats will be deployed, one pair at 2046 Coordinated Universal Time and the other pair at 2346 Coordinated Universal Time. 
Re-entry for Cygnus is scheduled for the 11th of June as the vehicle begins breaking up in Earth's atmosphere. Three probes will be released as part of the Red Data 2 experiment, collecting data on how high temperature materials react to re-entry, as well as helping to characterize how spacecraft break up on re-entry. Orbital ATK announced on the 11th of June that the OA-7 mission had formally ended at 1708 coordinated universal time with the re-entry and destruction of the SS. John Glenn. The spacecraft re-entered east of New Zealand over the Pacific Ocean, disposing of approximately 1,950 kg 4, of trash and unneeded hardware. <laughs> <laughs> spacecraft This is the seventh of ten flights by Orbital ATK under the Commercial Resupply Services contract with NASA. This is the fourth flight of the enhanced-sized Cygnus PCM. Manifest <laughs> 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 OA-7 carried a total of 3,459 kilograms (7,626 pounds) of material into orbit. This included 3,376 kilograms (7,443 pounds) of pressurized cargo with packaging bound for the International Space Station, and 83 kilograms (183 pounds) of unpressurized cargo composed of four cubesats that will be released from the Cygnus spacecraft after unbathing from the ISS. OA-7 carried 34 other CubeSats that will be launched from the Kibo module on ISS, including 28 that were built by university students as part of the QB-50 program. The following is a breakdown of cargo bound for the ISS: vehicle hardware, 1,215 kilograms (2,679 pounds). Includes the Express Carrier Avionics (EXPCA) box and jumper cable. Science Investigations, 940 kilograms, 2,072 pounds. Crew Supplies, 954 kilograms, 2,103 pounds. Spacewalk Equipment, 73 kilograms, 161 pounds. Computer Resources, 2 kilograms, 4. 4 pounds Russian hardware 18 kilograms 40 pounds topic see also unmanned spaceflights to the international space station